On the east end of East Liverpool, at the top of the hill on Parkway, sits an abandoned Riverview florist shop, a 100-year-old gem of Tudor architecture. There's now a concerted effort to renovate the building through Ohio's Appalachian Community Grant Program and turn the property into an event center, business incubator, and park. Saving Riverview Floors. That's our top story tonight at 10. The first thing you notice is the smokestack rising above the building with Riverview painted along one side. And so the smokestack was used to heat all of the greenhouses. At its peak, the Riverview florist property had 200 greenhouses, many of them filled with orchids. And it slowly grew and became the world's largest orchid producer. Aaron Dodds is project manager of Heart of Appalachian, Ohio, a group of 17 Ohio counties hoping to fund 41 projects through Ohio's Appalachian Community Grant Program. Dodds has requested $6 million to renovate Riverview Flores, which was built after a fire in 1935. We're going to convert the building to an event space and incubator, a business incubator. And then the property, which is 80 acres and has a large waterfall in the back, will have walking trails and then tie it into uh, Thompson Park, which is just adjacent to the property. I'm heartbroken. I love that building. It was wonderful. It's iconic. Sherry Clark bought Riverview Flores in 2006 and three years later moved the business to downtown East Liverpool. Clark has postcards of its heyday and a picture of the 200 greenhouses, all of which are now gone. The front doors are oak, the roof slate, the chimneys have unique designs, and throughout the inside are bronze medallions of orchids. But if somebody wants to put that money in there, I would be glad to see that. That's a beautiful place there that the city should save and should keep as a historical building. It's a gem that you don't see in this area anymore, but really ties in the melting pot that is Appalachian, Ohio. Part of the renovation plan is to build a new greenhouse on the property using the previous architecture for use as an event space for weddings and parties. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.